This video shows how to structure and comment an action script. Get into the habit of documenting your action scripts well. Your workflow will be more understandable, and you will save time later when you need to change a script after a long while. It is also easier for your work colleagues to learn how a script works. There are several ways to structure a script and create comments. Setting the script header. The script header, which is shown at the beginning of each action script, gives you the option to store a multi-line description of the script. You can also set the name of the author. To change the description, click on the right field next to it. Press enter to get into the edit mode. Briefly describe what the script does. Longer texts will be wrapped automatically. Use the key combination control enter to force a line break. End the input with enter. Xenoguard reformats the header and draws a box around it. You can enter the name of the author in the same way. If the header becomes very long, you can show and hide it with this toolbar button. You will then have more space for the actions on the screen. Setting comments. The easiest way to insert a comment line in the script is to press Control Enter. Then press Enter to edit the line. As with the script header, you can also enter multiple lines and force a line break with Control Enter. Xenoguard also draws a graphical box around a comment block and comment line. You can move and merge comments with the mouse. Xenoguard formats the comments automatically. Single lines can also be moved as long as they have not been entered in multiple lines. You can also move or merge comments into the header. Using graphical separator lines. Another structural feature are graphical lines that you can insert. Drag the comment line action into the script. A graphic line will be drawn. The action has no parameters and does not return any results. The line separates code blocks from each other and gives the action script more structure. Region of actions. Xenoguard offers the possibility to group multiple actions. The group is summarized as a region. Each region has a title that describes it. The code becomes more readable if you embed actions in the region that perform a common task or serve a specific purpose, such as parameter definitions. You can drop new actions directly on the region. They are added at the end of the action list. Or you can drag them directly with the mouse to the desired position. Like a folding editor, you can expand and collapse a region to show and hide the code area. It is also possible to copy and move a region. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to iterate through a list using for each to process individual values. Thank you for your interest. I hope the video helped you. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to contact us. We'll be very glad to help you.